Hello guys and welcome to our brand new video. Today I'm here with Tatami Galaxy episode number 8. Alright, the previous episode we uh, got into the Kauri route. Now I was really not expecting them kind of like you know I was I was thinking they're going to end it with Hanuki's portion and going to focus on something else. And Kauri and the girl called Keiko would probably not get much you know like much uh, explanation like how everything happened but the previous episode kind of proved me wrong we saw how like you know he got hold of kauri and in this episode i'm guessing they're like you know they're going to do the keiko route who the particular person is who is that girl keiko who has been writing uh, the main character for, uh, like you know uh, letters for quite a while and like all the other mysteries surrounding her so I'm quite excited to see who this person, this mysterious person is. Is she a character, a new character or is she kind of someone that the main character already knows and he or she is just like, you know, trying to be Keiko and like tricking him or something or maybe it's something completely else. I'm not sure. My bet it, my bet is, it's probably some, okay, I cannot say anything because like this anime is really unpredictable and like like th there's a part of me that says that maybe the, K the K Keiko girl maybe she somehow knows her or him supposedly like like part of me is kind of saying that maybe that's Ozu you know he's, he's tricking the main character and a part of me is like saying that maybe not maybe it really is someone who has been actually like you know conversing with uh, the main character using letters so let's see <laughs> let's see what this is about as and uh, without further ado let's get started with episode number eight of uh tatami galaxy so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one Go. Oh, wait, what? Whoa, what is this place? What the hell? Wait, what is happening here? Oh, this is delusions. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is just his delusions. He is kind of, yeah, there you go. This is going to focus on Kaori, uh, Keiko. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Wait, is he still in the toilet? Yeah, oh my God. Who will I choose? Yeah, this time. Keiko! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Please wait for me. Okay, let's see who this, like, you know, mysterious Keiko san is. I'm really interested in this. Wow. I was like in the beginning I was surprised like I was thinking what is this what is this place like is this some kind of mansion like you know he's kind of sipping wine and stuff and then I realized oh my god this is delusions <laughs> he's just sitting in the toilet <laughs> wow This is the 8th episode, isn't it? Like, I'm really surprised nothing, like, you know, no kind of uh, development happened between him and Akashi-san. Still. Like, I, I think this is like an 11 episode anime, so... 3 more episodes left after this episode, so... I'm guessing stuff are going to start happening from the next episode. Like, you know, uh, developing the character of Akashi and the, him. The relationship. Hmm. 
All right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, this one, okay. Oh, reading circle. Oh, see, that's why. Okay. Damn. Such elegant words that he is using. Beautiful. Good morning, son of hope. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, this is... <laughs> True. Oh my god, who is that? Behind him? Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Drift on the passage. Whoa. <laughs> also... <laughs> Maidens, go forth, maidens. <laughs> Silly little young adult, no man. Oh, okay. Oh, so here is my Higuchi. Wait, that last name. It's very familiar, Higuchi. Higuchi! It's, um, the master. Um, Osu's master. So she's his relative? <laughs> oh. Damn, so good. Oh my. All right. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh, <laughs> nice. He did took his preparations. <laughs> Very true, you know? Okay, he got it. There you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Two years? Whoa! Such elegant writing. You can feel it. You know? Wow. Researching. Okay. Major in agriculture. Wow. Damn. Okay. Wow, such... Okay. I think you'll pass perfectly. Oof. Whoa. I remember skating there. 
Oh. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's a perfect human being. Our main character. Wow. Brilliant. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, there's Akashi-san. Oh, damn. There you go. He's like, whatever happens, like one thing I have, like we're seeing like every time he really helps Akashi-san. <laughs> yeah. Change your ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, who is this weirdo? Okay. Wow. Who knows, maybe Keiko is also doing that, you know, the thing that he's doing. <laughs> he knows that. You may <laughs> Okay, wow. Hmm. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> yeah, this happened in the previous two episodes as well. Hobby. Oh. Oh yeah, he's, she said that before. Made of candy. Oh, so, okay, made of candy. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yes, Kauri. Wow. <laughs> wow, they're like... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh okay oh that's what he did okay oh my god so that's why he brought Kauri here okay because of that all right <laughs> damn Yeah. Handwritten. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Hmm. The thing that is really bothering me is her title is Higuchi. Oh. White card under Jodoji. Wait. Wait, Akashi lives here? Wait, maybe I, I I kind of thought this before. Maybe it's Akashi-san who is sending the letters. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, he like. Yeah. That's why you shouldn't do that, you know. <laughs> Damn, Johnny! Okay, where's the astrologer? Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, here we are. We, we are almost at that point. What? Mm. And then he goes to the drinking, like to the pub, gets drunk. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what is it? You said two years. Yeah, you need to make a decision. <laughs> yeah, you're not a like, you know. Yeah. So he'll go first to Hanuki, obviously. Yeah. Oh, you 6,000 yen? What? Wait a minute. Weren't it supposed to increase the price? Oh, that was his... Like, he was thinking about it. <laughs> and there he is. It's a bit too broken. I'm really like either it's Akashi-san or it's Ozu or it's Higuchi himself. What? Ah. I I literally said this in the previous episode and this episode as well. Or maybe it's Akashi-san. Who is it? Oh, it is Akashi-san. There you go. 
I participated. Okay, there you go. So, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, obviously two years. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh damn, she was... Yeah. Wait, he didn't even realize that? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, there you go. There you go. You, you, you're getting, rem like, you know, he's realizing it. I hope so, at least. Okay, he grabbed it for the first time. Or maybe not. Oh, so this is the Castella. You tell him, Johnny. <laughs> okay, this is another mysterious thing. Like, how did the Castella? In I think I remember in one of the episodes, like it was really sloppily eaten, even though he did not eat it. There you go. He's eating it now. <laughs> yeah. Doing the form of devil. Yeah, kind of, but still. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, he's he's rewinding again. Now I wonder what's going to happen after this. Wow, okay. So <laughs> uh, technically both of my predictions came true. <laughs> Like, it was Akashi-san and Ozu at the same time, like... I really placed my bets on Ozu because I know how he is. Like, you know, I, 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 in the previous episode in the discussion as well, I said that who knows, like, if Kaori-san is, uh, not Kaori, sorry, Keiko is Ozu, you know? Maybe when, like, they'll finally meet, he'll be, like, you know, sitting in the diner, sipping coffee and say that, oh, like, finally you're here, I've been waiting for you. Where were you? <laughs> Something like that. Like, you know, but <laughs> technically uh, that was also true. And at the same time, I also said that, okay, either it's Ozu or it's Akashi. Because like, you know, I doubt they were going to introduce a new character this late in the show. So like, you know, either two of those things I had kind of like a feeling about. Like either this or that. Turns out it was both at the same time. So another thing that really gave off everything is the title Higuchi like you know Higuchi is Ozu's master's name you know the last name of the master and another thing that really gave off but that was almost at the end like Akashi-san also lived on the same address so okay that's the end is that it? yeah that's it 
so yeah then Akashisan also lived in that same place so these are all the little hints that were given and um that really kind of like you know but i was still kind of expecting some new character you know to come out of the bat like you know come out onto on on the balcony or something i was still expecting so <laughs> when he said that oh my god like this like you know this uh, la keiko lady like she looks a lot familiar she looks just like ozu <laughs> I was like, okay, so yeah, I knew, I, I knew this was coming, but I still had a little, like, you know, a little, what can I say, part of me that thought maybe a new character is going to pop out in this episode, but nope. <laughs> and then came in the, like, you know, at least for the main character, the crashing disappointment of two, like, you know, <laughs> two years worth of time he was talk like you know he was exchanging letter with a person who was like you know completely faking it and like fooling him <laughs> and laughing at his expense <laughs> so like you know and then when akashi son came and she said that i'm sorry about it and like you know like it was ozu and i was also participating in it and <clears throat> like you know uh, and then like <laughs> the main character <laughs> got some sanity back he he realized that okay thank god that it was not just ozu there was like you know akashi was also involved in it like it would have been a sad what can i say um <laughs> outcome if he really was exchanging later letter for like you know with ozu for two years and fantasizing of the so you know so per like so called keiko san and like you know she was kind of he was kind of like putting uh, faces in in the like imaginary persons on on his like you know on his on that on that board you know he's kind of like putting um, uh, like pictures of how she probably looked like she was thinking like oh maybe she looks like this she was kind of, he was kind of like you know uh, from the letters how he, like you know the letters were coming how the, like you know the tone of the letter and everything he was kind of like thinking like oh maybe keiko looks like this maybe keiko looks like that it would be it would have been sad if that was all Ozu, like, you know. So thankfully, and also like I should have realized this, but that Ozu is not a person who would like you know be committed to this whole farce for two whole years. I doubt. Like he is more like a, like you know he's more like a very whimsical person who really like you know uh, like does something for the for the fun of it only for one maybe two or could, like you know mostly three months that would be probably the maximum time frame that he would be dedicated enough to <laughs> mess with the main character so like as always like he kind of like you know gave it up and like decided not to do it anymore but akashi san kind of felt bad for him and that's why she like you know continued to keep up the tradition of giving and like you know uh, and getting letters <coughs> and <coughs> like it, it like i can probably realize the amount of disappointment that the main character feels after like you know he realizes that whatever he did for two years was like a practical joke like this and um, as he said that it was not that I liked Akashi-san, it's just that I liked the person that Ozu made, you know, and like that is the biggest disappointment because such a person does not exist. It was just a, what can I say, like a fabrication of a person like which completely matched mm, the main character's tastes. So obviously Ozu was the perfect person for this because as he said like he knows him the most so he also knows uh, like you know his tastes and everything as like you know as always like as he always says that uh, black uh, you know long raven haired uh, beauty like that's like her like you know his main uh, preference and his what can I say like uh, he likes that like you know that type of situation he, he like you know he kind of uh, fantasizes about these kind of things so using that using that Ozu completely fooled him and <clears throat> I'm guessing oh like you know um, Akashi also kind of uh, wanted to have some kind of connection with him 
and wanted to like interact with him but she probably was unable to do that as we saw like you know her briefly thanking him just that like you know after he she got saved and then she like you know briefly thanked him and that was probably it so i'm sure like when also kind of brought that proposition to her that like you know what like uh, uh this guy here the main character <laughs> like i'm going to play a joke on him so like i'm going to tell you what you know what type of a person he likes what are his tastes so you should start writing the letters and like you know bring that person to life and send letters to him every month so i'm sure like taking like you know that opportunity akashi also kind of grabbed it just to have a little bit of connection with him i don't know i might be thinking too much into it but i feel something like that must have happened because otherwise why would akashi kind of still keep doing it you know like she kept doing it even after ozu left so even though i i can't say that if she felt bad for her, that that like you know that's also a reason part of the reason but i doubt someone like you know who would feel bad for someone would be able to continue doing this for two years only if only that is the reason i don't think so so there must be something else you know alongside it she must have really wanted to have a conversation partner maybe she also started like you know liking uh anticipating the letters every i'm i'm guessing they wrote letters every month or every week i'm not sure something like that but you know like she i'm sure like she also started anticipating those letters and was like you know enjoying herself as well so i'm not actually sure why he like suddenly like you know wrote in her letters that we have to meet otherwise i'm going to stop writing letters and we we'll, like you know our relationship will end here why she did that i'm not sure maybe she wanted to come clean you know like she, maybe she was feeling too guilty as like that was basically her kind of fooling uh the character like you know the main character who actually saved him so it's it's kind of like you know uh like it was as if she was uh like uh, you know repaying goodwill in a very bad way so i'm sure she also felt a lot guilty for that because like technically she is thankful for him but the thing that she was doing is kind of faking a persona and like you know faking later letters to him i'm sure like that made her feel guilty so maybe that was the reason why she decided like okay like this is it like i'll come clean i'll tell him to kind of like you know meet up and i'll like tell all like you know every like like everything truthfully and i'm sure like she decided to do this because of that and as like you know <laughs> um akashi knew the main character so i'm sure like you know whenever like the main character made up these kind of like you know uh <laughs> like what can i say these kind of delusions as to how he is you know like i do this kind of things i'm very good at like you know i i do a superhero show i'm from overseas i did this i did that like you know all of these kind of like fake things that he made up about himself akashi knew him <laughs> so i'm sure like you know he she realizes realized that <laughs> the main cat is completely lying and completely like you know like faking everything so like you know like nothing like you know the, the fear that the main character had that oh maybe like you know after meeting keiko uh, she'll get dis 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 dissolution is is that the actual word yeah i think so yeah uh, she'll like you know feel like get uh, dissolution I'm sorry I'm sorry if I'm butchering that word I cannot remember the actual pronunciation of that word but anyways uh if she like you know regret uh finding his actual self out that was the actual fear he had turns out <laughs> she knew everything from the beginning so that's a good thing you know so like it was not that he was he was actually faking everything but still like you know the, the other person knew everything so no harm done but yeah like technically this i'm sure like this kind of weighed heavily on um akashi because you know like as she said that you helped me once and like she was doing this to him so that was probably like something that she kind of regretted doing so she decided to come clean <clears throat> yeah and um, okay so like 
Uh, the, the fact that Ozu really is Keiko is, is still very... What can I say? <laughs> it's a, like, it's a weird feeling, you know, Not, like at least for me, because I thought that, yeah, this is something that could probably happen. But at the same time, I thought that, no, maybe Ozu won't go this far. Like, you know, this was kind of like a thing that was happening in my head. Like, <laughs> so like finding, like, you know, finding it, the actual truth out is really weird for me because <laughs> I realized that I knew something like this is going to happen but then I also realized that I <clears throat> also thought that maybe this was not going to happen you know maybe it would be someone else if it was just you know Akashi-san <laughs> I would be a lot less surprised here because like this is not a genuine surprise because I knew something like this had a possibility of happened happening but still I'm surprised like it's a really weird feeling I don't know how to explain press it <laughs> but you know <laughs> oh god like when i heard that oh like that's ozu like in my brain i was thinking like oh my god like i totally saw this coming but i never thought this would happen <laughs> that was my feeling at that time when it actually happened you know <laughs> okay that was really great i <laughs> like that was fantastic like all the build up and everything <laughs> <laughs> just for him to find out that it was actually Ozu. <laughs> oh god. And imagine how Ozu felt while he was talking with him in, in the diner, you know, when he said that, oh, maybe you found someone and you were like, you know, exchanging letters with her. Yeah, I should have completely like, you know, realized at that moment that it is Ozu. I don't know why, but there was a, still a part of me that was feeling maybe we're going to see a new character. Or maybe it's Akashi-san. So yeah, <laughs> I totally expected this, like you know, this to happen. But at the same time, I'm very surprised at the outcome. So yeah, that was that's basically my feelings for this episode. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> and so here's the thing, like past couple of episodes, these past two episodes, like you know, I was thinking that, oh, why are they not showing Akashi-san? Like, you know, they just barely showed her in the second episode for, I think, five seconds. And like, you know, like all of these things. Turns out she was very much involved in everything. It was just that we did not know who she actually was. So these past two episodes, Akashi was also present through the letters that she was sending to the main character. So he again was involved with Akashi. This, like, you know, these couple of episodes as well. And this time he was more, like, you know, heavily involved with Akashi. All, all of these times, <coughs> excuse me, all of these times previously, like, he knew Akashi-san, he talked with Akashi-san, stuff happened, and, you know, and, like, eventually he did not grab that opportunity. But this time he was constantly, like, you know, involved with Akashi, without knowing that it was actually Akashi. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm guessing like, uh, I really hope in the, in the uh, so I'm guessing this is the 8th episode, isn't it? Yeah. And so, uh, just a sec, um, yeah, this is the 8th episode, so uh, like, 9th, 10th and 11th, 3 episodes left. So I'm guessing we're probably going to get, maybe in the next episode will also be kind of like this, you know, so maybe from the 10th episode we're probably going to get heavily involved with Akashi. I at least think so. Like, I hope so at least because uh, I don't know. I, I don't even know how this is going to end. I, I like, you know, I already like, like, this is like a thing that I have in my head. Like, I think probably like by the end of it, some kind of huge development is going to happen between him and Akashi because like that was the actual point of this like you know whole time travel thing isn't it at least i think so because all of these times he is not grabbing the opportunity as the uh, astrologer says the old lady says so many times that i grab that opportunity grab that opportunity so for the past like you know a seven like eight episodes she has been telling him to do that but he is somehow forgetting it either or doing something wrong so at least i think by the end of this anime some huge thing might 
probably happen with involving him and Akashi because that app that opportunity is the door for him to like you know to get into the Akashi route I think so so as like you know the whole anime is completely like extremely like what can I say like hinting towards that yeah this is the correct door you should like you know you should go through this door like you know whenever he's going towards some other kind of like you know some other um like ending like for example hanuki or kaori or something else completely different you know like these kind of like you know endings the the cycling club the um, what was that the film club and all of these like whenever he is choosing these kind of paths he's getting reverted back in time so this really shows that the anime itself really wants him to like you know go towards the akashi route and he's not doing it so he's getting re like you know he's getting rewinded back in time i really hope by the end of this anime something happens between him and akashi you know like some kind of development something it will be great if they end up together but i don't know like usually animes like especially like you know these kind of animes usually kind of keep it open-ended in a way so but still i want something you know some kind of development by the end of it i hope they will do it so if they do it i'm guessing in the last couple of episodes these two or these three episodes i at least hope so they're going to heavily focus on akashi you know and probably he will grab that opportunity in the upcoming you know last few episodes so yeah like that was good and uh, yeah that was it so the biggest giveaway in this episode was the title higuchi higuchi keiko like at the beginning i was really unable to put my finger on the name i was thinking higuchi higuchi where have i heard that name and then i realized oh it was the master of ozu or the god that like you know in the first episode like another thing that is really like you know unusual is like the first episode introduced him as the god and from then onwards we have never ever like you know seen anything related to that like you know he is like a senior isn't he he's like the ozu's master and everything like like then what what was that in the first episode what was that about the whole god thing i'm the god of what did he say like matrimony or something like or, or matchmaking yeah something like that like and he said something about like you know uh, connecting his and akashi's uh, string of fate or akashi and ozu something like that and there was this whole thing that happened after that so like it's as if everything got forgotten after that episode you know like it completely went in a different direction like he started like, in the first episode was the only episode i think he actively tried to get together with akashi and then it's as if everything completely became like you know so like you know completely started going in a different direction as he completely forgot like what he was actually doing like, these i'm sure we'll get more answers in the last few episodes but at least i hope so you know so yeah like what actually has happened so yeah so yeah guys that was it so thank you guys for watching this was tatami galaxy episode number eight so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below your opinion about this episode or anything else if you want to share i'll check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with another episode of tatami galaxy same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day